Blind Guy TV and today we're with the Lotus Europa. If you remember last time um, we it wouldn't start would it? it? The battery was flat or we charged the battery and I'm just in the process of cleaning the spark plug so I'm just taking this fourth spark plug out um, there we go yep I've done this many times I tell you many times Remember, I've owned this car not 40 odd years. Bit of sandpaper. They don't, uh, they don't appear to be oiled up or uh, full, of, full of petrol. A bit of petrol smell on them. Yeah. Bit of a windy day today. Or well, oh, very windy day, to be honest. He had to go back in the house because <clears throat> Simba the cat insisted on helping me. There we go. Right between the these are NGK sixes, and I think the number denotes how hot the plug is. I think uh, the lower the number, there we go, the lower the number, the um, hotter the plug, and the hotter the plug, the easier it is to start because it doesn't get fouled up as much. I know from the GT40 that I had that uh, Where you started running on eights, NGK eights, and they were uh, well. If you if you didn't get it started first time, they take all eight plugs out. <laughs> and on a GT40, that is not easy. That's it. And that one's firm. That one's firm. Right, so I think we're ready. Let's just see. Are we? Uh, Okay, I'm going to go around and uh, get in. See you later. Okay, now we're back with it. it. Wouldn't start. It was firing with easy start. In fact, we we set the ruddy thing on fire. Would you believe? That's it. I'm just going to have a. I'm just taking the third plug out to have a little look. Have a sniff. I don't suppose it's flooded if it was firing. It just doesn't seem to get any fuel. We've actually filled about two or three gallons. Uh, I don't know. It's dry. It's dry. It stinks of easy start around here. Let's put that back in. So it's, I'm getting the old sparkulators. Not getting the fuelage. Don't know why that is. It's a mechanical fuel pump on these, so you always end up with it not starting straight away because it's, the fuel drains from the carbs, and uh, that's the end of that. <laughs> it takes a lot of churning to get. Into the uh, into the engine. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, secure. Right, we'll give it one last try. Back to back to the driver's seat. Yep. Right, I'm back in the cockpit and it's not starting. It's starting, and in fact, setting the engine on fire, would you believe, the air filter, with easy start. We've had a couple of fires. <laughs> um, but it's not starting normally. I've got the, this is the choke. I've got the choke fully out. All right. I've got the clutch in to give it a bit more ease on the gearbox. And here we go, but it won't start. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. 
so it's obviously not getting fuel. Um, it ran last time perfectly well, and that was over a year ago. It's a mechanical fuel pump, so it can't be. It can't be the mechanical fuel pump, but what it could be is possibly rust in the tank, which has uh, got into the fuel line. I'm not sure if there's an air filter or not. I'm not going to check it today. That's all I can think. That's got two tanks, and they meet in the middle. So you fill one up, and they both fill up. Uh, I'm stuck now. We filled it with av gas, which is 100 octane low lead, which should make this into a dragster. <laughs> and also, it's it's good for the it's good for the actual engine because. Um, it's got no ethanol in it, so it, it won't eat away all the soldered joints, the rubber, and everything else. But uh, lots of trouble, usually serious. Well, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, tell me what's wrong, <laughs> and tell your friends. So I've got to postpone it until next time. When it will start, it will. Bye.